Hey guys, Mike here from Envy Creative. So today we're gonna talk about the NT-USB mini microphone. So as you guys may know from some of our past videos by now, we usually like to put products through its paces and really stress test them in a real production environment before we do a review or we compare them to other products. So we've had the Rode NT-USB mini for a few weeks now and we've been really putting it through its paces and comparing them to some of our other USB microphones that we use in our sound booth for voiceover or that we even use at our desks for things like podcasts or other things we might need a quick audio clip for. So today, not only are we going to show you and tell you our quick thoughts about the Rode NT-USB Mini, but we're also going to be comparing them to a couple of the other mics that we use in the studio, which is the Blue Nessie and the Fi Fine USB microphone. Rode has another product, it's the NT-USB, and it's not the mini version. And that one is a bit more expensive and a bit larger as well. But Rode is really trying to break into the market and really get this out to as many people as possible by giving it a really affordable $100 price tag. So one of the reasons we wanted to compare this to a couple of our other microphones is to see if the newest and relatively priced microphone will compete versus either an older, equally priced microphone or a newer, cheaper microphone. So this is the Blue Nessie microphone. It's a desktop USB microphone, and it has a very unique styling to it. Now, a lot of you may know Blue from their Yeti series, which is really popular in the podcasting, video space, and gaming space. Now, the Yeti does go for a few hundred dollars, but when this came out, it was about $99, which is the same as the NT-USB Mini. Now, as you can tell, this was definitely made to sit on a desk. The ergonomics of it are pretty cool. You can bring it out a little bit and adjust it this way if you need to. And there's also a headphone jack and a dial right down here for adjusting the headphone volume. There are also some small buttons on the back that you can adjust if you're recording things like music versus voice. And if you have the software loaded onto your computer, you can even press record right here from the microphone. Now, when this came out, a lot of people already had the Yeti or they've already heard of the Yeti, so they didn't hear about the Nessie. So this kind of flew under the radar, but we've actually been using it for a while now in our recording booth and we get great audio with it. Because it is made specifically to sit on the desk, there aren't any screw-ins on the bottom, so we actually had to jerry-rig it up inside our recording booth with a clamp to hold it in place in front of our pop filter. So that was the older one at about the same price as the NT-USB Mini. That one is actually around seven or eight years old, so it came out a long time ago, but it still actually sounds really great for its age. It goes to show you that if you build a quality product, it can withstand the test of time as long as you're not knocking it around and as long as you take good care of it. So now let's move on to the cheaper but newer microphone, the Fi Fine USB Condenser Microphone. So we actually got this just a couple months ago because we wanted a microphone that could sit on our desks in case we needed to just record a quick voiceover or just record a quick audio clip without having to go into the sound booth and going through the whole process of recording in our sound booth. So this is what you get with the USB mic. You get the microphone itself and you get this little tripod stand as well. The cord isn't removable unfortunately and it's pretty long just in case you need to run it behind a desk. But overall the build quality is actually really surprisingly good and and it was only $30 on Amazon, at least here in LA. It's got a really sturdy, hard plastic body that feels like there is metal underneath it, as well as a metal filter on the outside. Unfortunately, there's no place to plug in headphones to the microphone to monitor yourself, but this volume knob on the front is actually to turn the gain up and down on the microphone itself for the recording. Now, like I said, when we get new products in, we really like to stress test them and put them through their paces in a real world studio environment to see if they'll actually hold up to real world use day after day and still give the great quality that we expect. So let's listen to these three microphones, both edited and unedited, to see if you can find the difference and to see which one you think sounds best. Now to keep the comparison fair, we aren't gonna label which ones we're actually doing and we'll reveal which ones you're hearing at the end of the video. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. 
So when we compared the Rode NT-USB Mini to the older Nessie or the cheaper $30 FinFine microphone, we actually found that the Rode NT-USB Mini is actually a pretty good value for the sound quality that you get and some of the features that you get. For instance, on the NT-USB Mini, there is a headphone jack that you can plug your headphones into, and this volume knob on the front actually controls the headphone volume so that you can listen to it and monitor yourself in real time. Rode's also staying ahead of the curve by implementing a USB-C port on the back, so it's gonna be future-proof with future devices that use USB-C. Through our testing with the voiceovers and videos that we've done with this versus the other mics, I think that the most comparable thing to it is probably the seven or eight year old Blue Mic Nessie. Now, like I said, when the Blue Mic Nessie came out, it was $99, but actually nowadays you can find it between $20 and $30 used online. Both of these mics have really solid audio, and we'd say they're about the same quality audio that you'll get from either one. So if audio quality is your only real defining factor for the microphone that you want to get, and you don't mind a used microphone, we would probably recommend the Blue Nessie microphone since you can pick it up for around $30 used, and it gets about the same audio quality as the Rode NT-USB Mini. But again, you have to remember that this was meant to sit on your desk, there aren't any screw-ins for mounting it anywhere, and that is one of the big benefits that we liked about the Rode NT-USB Mini is that it does have a base, but you can actually take off the base, and there is a screw-in mount, so if you want to put it on a microphone stand, or if you want to hang it on a microphone arm to do things like podcasts or interviews. And also when you're done using it, the microphone stand is also magnetic, so it just pops right back on. Now comparing the Rode NT-USB Mini to the Fifine USB microphone was kind of easy to do, but if you want a brand new microphone and not a used microphone, and you don't mind sacrificing a little bit of audio quality, we definitely do recommend the Fifine microphone. Since it's only $30, one day shipping on Amazon, depending where you're from, and it actually does get a really good quality sound for the price that you get. The other great thing about the Fifine is that it does come with a little tripod, but the tripod does come off, which does let you mount this to things like microphone stands, or to microphone arms, kind of like with the NT-USB Mini. We don't really mind so much that the Fifine doesn't have an input to monitor your sound, since a lot of the time you're gonna be using this on a computer, and you can monitor your sound from the headphone jack on your computer. The only real gripe we have with it is that the cord isn't detachable, so that you can't either make it shorter or longer, or just detach it when you're taking it on and off of a microphone stand. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Thanks for watching. And if you have any of these microphones, or you have any questions about these microphones, or maybe you want to recommend your favorite USB microphones, feel free to let me know, and we'll see you in the next one.